cases have not um, come. Did you guys see where you are able to um, find these classes on YouTube? If you go to your teacher's YouTube channel and if you miss a class, you can watch it online. Okay, number 14. Um, it talks about three commercials being played in a row and it takes three minutes. The first song, the first one uses one and one six minute. The second uses three fifths minute. How long is the third? So this was multi-step where you had to add the first and second commercial time and then subtract it from three minutes. Okay, let me see what... Alex, I got you on my list first. What did you get for number 14, Alex? I don't got... Forget... Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Uh, for number 14, I got... I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong page. Okay, good. Uh, for number 14... Mm -hmm. where, where'd my page go? Uh, oh, here. I'm sorry, what page was it again? 391. Okay. Okay, um, two and two, two and 23 thirtieths um, minutes long. Two and 23 thirtieths. That's how long those two commercials were together? Yeah. Okay, they want to know how long the third commercial is, though. So you're going to have to take three minutes and then subtract what you got which what what did you get two and 23 30 so that okay. mean i get that means i get one and seven thirtieths right exactly yes okay so this is what alex got he added them together and got two and 23 thirtieths but they want to know how long the third song is so he has to take three the three minutes long it was and subtract two and 23 thirtieth. So he's going to borrow from the three. It's gonna wait, Mrs. Palmer. How did he get two from adding the the minutes from the, the two other songs? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's double check that. That's a good point, Irfan. Let's try adding those first. So we're gonna add one and one sixth, and we're gonna add three fifths. Okay. And he turned them into thirtieths. Okay, I see where you're going with that. So we turn those into 30ths, and when you add that up, it's 1 and 23 30ths instead of 2 and 23 30ths. Is that what you got, Irfan? Yeah, and that's what I got. Okay, good. Okay, then we're going to take 3 and subtract 1 and 23 30ths. We have to borrow from the 3. We're borrowing one number, right? We're borrowing a one, so we're going to call that one 30 thirtieths. Okay. Okay, 30 thirtieths minus 23 thirtieths is 7 thirtieths, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So you should have 1 and 7 thirtieth minutes. Make sure you give that a label. Okay. four students made videos and the table shows the length match each pair of videos with the correct difference the first dot video one and video three that should go to the very bottom one mm -hmm. and eleven twelfths hours okay so top left goes to bottom right the one in the middle videos two and three that goes to the top one and seventeen thirtieths hours Bottom left goes to the middle, one and nine tenth. I don't know if I hold my book up if you guys can see that. That doesn't show up very well, does it? No, we can't really. Get, now we can kind of see half of it. Yeah, now we can see it. Is that what everyone else has? I have it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And next page, not next page, it was actually page 393. Number two, for
first you had to estimate and then find the actual. Um, Bernadette, what did you get for number two? So my estimate was one half, and my real answer was um, two thirds. Exactly. Very good. Good work. Okay, number three, Grace. And Grace, we you're muted, so you're gonna have to unmute first. I think it was four and one eighth. Um, what was your what was your estimate? Oh, my estimate was five. Mm -hmm. So I I was confused. I was either four and one eighth or five and one eighth. Yeah, it's five and one eighth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you're gonna borrow from your nine and make it an eight and eight eighths. So instead of calling that nine, we're gonna call nine eight and eight eighths. That's the same thing as nine. Yeah. Okay, just another way of writing it. And we're gonna subtract three and seven eighths. What I did was, since I wasn't quite sure how to subtract a whole number with a decimal, I mean, with a fraction, mm -hmm. I did um, nine and then I right next to it, I put, um, I think, zero eighths. Right. And then I said equals nine and zero eighths, and then three and seven eighths, and I made nine and eight, yep. and then zero eighths, eight eighths, and I subtracted that. So Perfect. I basically yep. lowered the from the two more steps. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. What you were, um, your thought process was perfect, though. Yep. It's really nine and zero eighths, and so then you borrow and make it eight and eight eighths. That's very good. Okay. Number four, Irfan. What do you got? So for number four, I my estimate is two minus two equals zero, and then I got, and then I did two. Okay, so then I did two seven forty two and forty uh forty two, right? And then I did minus one twelfth over forty two. Uh huh. And then I and then I got one one. Okay, so one whole and five forty two. Um, one whole. So you borrowed from your two and you made it a one, right? Yeah. And then when you borrow that, you're borrowing forty two over forty two, and you already have seven over forty two. So now you have forty nine over forty two. Oh, you I forgot to borrow. Um, yeah, you're gonna borrow. Okay, you're gonna borrow and, and then you'll have one and 49 over 42. And then you'll subtract that. Okay, you should get 37 over 42. And also the estimate um, it should be two minus one. So two minus one equals one. Or two minus one and a half half equals a half but isn't it but like it's a half right because well one and two sevenths like if i had seven kittens and i gave you two i didn't give you half i give you less than half so I, I would either keep that a two or keep that a one or make it one and a half well isn't okay. it half and a seven two by five half of seven is three point five. Oh yeah so no all right okay Okay, number five, Jack. Sorry. All right, number five. Mm -hmm. All right, number five. My estimate is two, and my answer is one and eight sevenths. I mean, one and eight ninths. Yes, good. Estimate is two. Um, the Difference is one and eight ninths. Yay! I got it right. You did. Yeah. Number six, yeah. Liliana. Number six. <laughs> I didn't realize I was muted. 
So I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna do my estimates are nine and four. And I did. And I changed the bottom to twelve. So twelve and three nine. And twelve and eight nine. And I got six and five. I mean, six and twelve five. five. And five twelve. All right. Let me. I'm going to take a look. So your estimate nine minus four is five. Yeah. I would take that. Or nine minus three and a half is five and a half. So if you got an estimate of five or five and a half, that's good. Then your difference. You said you turned it into twelfths, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. So nine and three twelfths, and three and eight twelfths. All right, so it looks like that. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to borrow from your nine and make it an eight. Okay. And then you're going to, so you're really borrowing 12 twelfths, and you already have three twelfths. So that's going to be eight and 15 twelfths. Oh, okay. Okay. You're going to add these two numbers, your numerator and your denominator. Okay, because you borrowed 12 twelfths because you borrowed one, and one's the same thing as 12 twelfths. And you already had three twelfths, okay? So now you have 15 twelfths. Okay. And 15 minus 8 is 7, and 8 minus 3 is 5. So your final answer should be 5 and 7 twelfths. 5 and 7 twelfths. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Palmer, I have a quick question. Oh, well, yeah. I see where I went wrong. I forgot to borrow. <laughs> okay. What's your question? Number six. It's not really math related, but what day of the week is it today? <laughs> it's Wednesday. Okay. I know. It's hard, I to it. it's hard to keep track of these days. <laughs> um, uh, Pia, could you give us your answer for number seven? I have two and nine sixteenth yards. Yes, that's it. Good. Two and nine sixteenth yards. And number eight, Alex. Number eight? Mm -hmm. I said two and nine sixteenth pounds. Um, I have something similar, but I don't have nine sixteenths. So eight sixteenths, one half. How but much I weight did he gain? Okay, so this was a subtraction problem, right? Oh. Yeah, it was, yeah. Okay, and you turned them into sixteenths? Yeah. Okay, so you had nine and one sixteenth minus six and two sixteenths. Yeah. You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to borrow. And when you borrow from the nine, it becomes an eight, and you're borrowing 16 sixteenths, and you already have one sixteenth, mm -hmm. so now you have 17 sixteenths. 17, why? Because you borrowed one, which is 16 sixteenths, and you already had no, one sixteenth. I just added with, like, I went from, like, one to 11, not, like, because adding one. I okay, so, one. Alex, Alex, listen to Mrs. Bomer. You can't, you're not borrowing 10. You can't, it's not like when you're borrowing and you're just subtracting whole numbers, okay? You're not, you can't just borrow 10 and make that an 11. So, if you do it like that, you should have missed everything above this. If you're borrowing from your nine, you're borrowing one number. In fraction form, and when you're talking about sixteenths, one is sixteen. So you're borrowing not 10 sixteenths, you're borrowing 16 sixteenths. Oh. And you already have one sixteenth. So now you have 17 sixteenths. The easy way to do that is just add your numerator and your denominator here. Okay. Okay, borrow, borrow from the nine, make it an eight, add 16 plus one, and now it's 17 sixteenths. Okay. okay. 17 minus two is 15. So your answer is two and 15 sixteenths pounds. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to try to share my screen with you because I wanted to talk to you guys about the some dog challenge that I gave to you. Um, so I'm going to try to. I finished that during break last time. <laughs> I'm going to try to share this. Did you, Jay? Did you have. Do we have to double it now? Do I have to do 200 more flipping points? No, but some of you have not started yet. So I want to show you, like, how how I can look at this and I put the challenge in your Google classroom. So you should look in your Google classroom and I have a lot open. So my computer doesn't want to find this right now. Sorry. Um, but so also in your Google classroom, I put in, Ooh. You put in what? Can you guys see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen, but like I didn't hear what you just said. Put in your what? I just heard you put in. Oh, okay. what I've been checking on the progress of your sum dog challenge that I assigned last Friday. As of right now, two students have completed the challenge. Two students have completed 50% or more, and another one student has made progress. However, three students have not even logged in yet. This is a graded assignment. So I encourage you to get started as soon as possible. Okay. But Mrs. Um, Palmer, I told you, it won't let me open up my Gmail and I don't know what I can do. I, I, I've tried and I don't know what I can um, do. Come to my office hours and That's then I will. Miss Palmer, I just went into some dog and it, and the second I went into some dog, it just said, oh, Miss Palmer sent you a challenge. Do, do, do that. Right. I just went to, you don't have to go into your Gmail or anything. You can just go into some dog. Just type, just type yeah. in your password. No, but stuff. he needs the pa no. He needs the password to some yeah. dog though. I thought you gave it to all of us. I well, did email the password. Email. Right. I, I would um, give you your some dog password right now, except some dog won't let me in. So come see me at two, and I will put it in there, or I could put it in your Google Classroom this afternoon. So I'll make a note. And that's Alex needs some dog login. Anyone else? Okay, because some dog won't. Uh, wait, wait, it might have just let me in. Yes. Okay. So here's the challenges. I'll show you. Grade five view. Wait, what's the password then? Do you mean I don't need Gmail? It's in your Gmail. Okay, so I've got some kids completed. I've got some kids who are working really hard on it. And if I go down here, I've got some kids who have not started yet. All right. So while I have you here right now, here's what I'm going to do. Let's get out of here and I'll go to your passwords. You're going to write them down before this class is over. So don't we have it in your Gmail. I don't understand how everyone's struggling with this. It's just in your Gmail. I even Alex. I don't understand how it's everyone's struggling with this. It's just in your Gmail. It, it is in your Gmail. And some dog is just not running very well right now. So, um, so Irfan, you don't need your password. You found that in your Gmail. Yes, I found that in my Gmail. Okay. Lily, what about you? I did, but I didn't find the password. All right. So I'll write down Lily needs some dog passwords. Okay. Again, some dog just, it's doing this. So, unfortunately. But um, I'll get that to you. For homework tonight, I want you guys to complete page 394. And work on your sum dog challenge. When is the sum dog challenge do? Friday. <laughs> Little homework. Friday, but um, Jack is right. He did like log in right away, and I don't even know how long it took him. Not very long. Um, I just went to some dog, and it just said, 
Miss Palmer sent you a challenge, and after and every time I finished playing a game, it just told me how many I did and how many more I had to do. All right, um, well, Alex, are you still you, with me? Miss Mrs. Palmer, I have a question. Yeah. Look, our homework was just three ninety four, right? Correct. Okay. All right, Alex, here you go. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Your username is A N A. Okay, give me a second. Um, okay, good. Your password's right here, drive85. And it's going to ask you for a school code. School code? Mm -hmm. The school code is ST. Saint-Joseph-School. Underscore one, two. So st dash Joseph dash school underscore one two. Mm -hmm. And Lily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found mm -hmm. it out. You found it? Yeah. All right. So you don't need it? No. Um, some of the games on some dog are unlocked now too. Oh yeah, I know. I played Cake Monster. Oh great. Thank you. Oh, oh, Mrs. Funny. Palmer. But yeah. I don't like playing um, multiplayer games. It shows me how many little people actually play, I can play with. It's pathetic. I know. Your homework don't is only page 394 and your sum dog challenge. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. If you guys have any questions for me, come see me between two and three, or if you just want to say hi. Okay. Sure. Bye.